third graders, we're back to maps. Remember that our learning targets are, I can recognize a compass rose and how to use it on a map. I can identify the four cardinal directions and the intermediate directions, which we're going to do today. I can identify symbols and locate them on places of map, and I can create and interpret maps using a compass rose, symbols, and a key, which I like to call the legend. All right, let's just review quickly. What are the four things found on a map? If you remember, the four things found on a map is there's usually a title, a compass rose, which we're gonna talk about today, a key or a legend, and a scale. Keep those in mind. All right, here is a compass rose. The compass rose shows north, east, south, and west. Some of you might have heard sayings called mnemonic devices that help you remember going around never eat soggy waffles. Or when I was in school, I learned it, never eat shredded wheat. Those are called the cardinal directions, all right? Now, these here are called the intermediate directions. The word intermediate kind of means between. So primary is like when you go to kindergarten, it's called the primary school. In first grade, you're still kind of primary. And in second grade, you're kind of learning primary skills. But in third and fourth grade, we're kind of intermediate. We're before middle school, but we're not really childish anymore. So that's the way I remember intermediate. And it kind of sounds like in between. So these are the intermediate directions. Notice that northeast is between north and east, but north is said first, just like northwest. The north is first, okay? And when you notice the other two intermediate directions, southeast and southwest, notice that the south comes first. We don't say west-south, no. We say southwest or southeast, all right? So today we're going to learn how to read those. This is the page that you are going to need. If you don't have this page in your map skills packet, please find it up here you can see a compass rose with all of the directions. You also see the abbreviations for you. Here's the cardinal and here's the intermediate. All right, which direction points to the top of the page? Hmm, yes, north, fill that in. Which points of the compass rose are the longest? The longest. Look here, there are two of them, north and south. Write those two here, N and S, or you can write north and south. Now you are going to highlight the cardinal directions yellow. So the cardinal directions, remember the cardinal directions are the main ones, north east, south, west. Those are the cardinal directions. You're going to highlight the intermediate or the in-between directions blue. So here's northwest, southwest, northeast, southeast. All right. Number five, which direction is between south and west? So look between south and west and what do you get? Southwest, write it down. Which two directions are next to east? Okay, look at, here's next to east. We have northeast and southeast. Write them down. What direction is opposite of north? Here we look at north and we go opposite and we figure out directly below it is south. Write it down. What direction is opposite of east? Here's east. What's opposite? You got it. Here it is. Write it down. What direction is opposite of southwest? Okay, 
here's southwest. Now remember, when we were north, we were looking directly opposite of it. So here's southwest. If I go directly opposite of it, I'm going way up here. Yes, the opposite of is northeast. Make sure to write that down, northeast. All right, now what direction is opposite of northwest? Well, pause the video and see if you can figure it out. And then start it again. Here's northwest. We're going all the way opposite of it. And here it is, southeast. All right, now today, if you have time, you may want to start looking at your packet there is a page that has some arrows, like a whole bunch of arrows pointing in all different directions. And it looks like this. It's called the colored arrows page. It takes a little bit of time to do this page. So you may want to just get a little start on them and just do like three arrows today, and three arrows tomorrow. I tell kids, make sure to draw the compass rose up here in the top because then you can use it to help you with what direction. Because if you look here, it says color the arrows pointing north red, south blue, east green, west yellow. Then you're going to go brown, purple, orange, and pink. Well, I'm just going to find some north. I know that north are pointing up. So I'm going to find all the arrows that are pointing up. Okay, now this arrow is pointing to the side. That is not north. So I can't color that one in. Oh, here's one. That's pointing north. You're going to find all north. South, you're going to find them pointing down. Okay, down. Oh, here's one right here. I need to draw that one blue. Never eat. Anything pointing this way is east. So those I would color green. But look at this one is going in between. Remember, never eat. This one right here is pointing between north and east. This one is pointing northeast. Northeast, I have to do orange. Okay, that's how you do that page. It takes a little bit of time, so you might want to get a little head start and work on it today. Have fun. Map skills are important.